Hello. I'm Dave Baloney. I am a fortune telling technician. Now, we call them technicians now because we believe that the future is in the hand of the gods or the stars, the higher power, and not just in the powers of the people. So we can't really just call them for some talent. Now, we have a customer here who's interested in the future. So, what would you like to see? How about Nick? Nick? Nick. Ah, do you like to know about Nick? Nick, Nick, Nick. Ah, Nick what Little is? John. Uh, Nicholas Little John. I have seen his future. I have foreseen you coming here. So, we will, by tradition, place okay. five random cards. So you can pick the cards. Pick the card, any card. Okay? Five random cards. The last one, face up. Okay? So, now this is Jack. Jack represents... <laughs> A jack of all trade. This is a jack of all trade. Nicholas Little John is a jack of all trade. He has done a lot of things in his life. He needs a hard worker. He's a lumberjack. Almost like a Joe. Which I know some people named Joe, but my name is Jimmy. And uh, he's really good. He's really, really dedicated to what he does. So for his past, he's been a really hard worker. He loves uh, being green, I believe. And in the future, he's gonna continue to do great things. Now, number four represents friendship and unity and love. A lot of good things which he got because he's very green and he's very lovely. He's a tall person and he believes in the unity of four. Four is a square. The square is very productive for edification, for building things up, for making things go up higher and higher. So Nick is really, really good at that. He's a jack, and he's a hard worker, as seen in the number four. And the number nine represents the completion of everything. Nine is the highest number. There were nine planets, and he's really good at doing what he can do to the best of his ability because that's what he does and that's who he is and that's what he believes in and I believe that he knows this already but here is some edification from the number four to the number nine continue to do what you gotta do and I know you're watching this because because you know she came here on on your behalf to get a reading on your future and since you're now able to come to Vietnam to see me the great wizard. She came on my door on your behalf, so remember the number nine and the four and the jack of all trades. And we got the number K. K is for king. For people who are valuable, who are able to to uh, just you know he's gonna be a really wealthy person, so if you wanna love him, you know, you have that opportunity to fall in love with him because he's gonna have a lot of money. You know that Statistically speaking, taller people are more successful and they get more money. So remember, you are a jack, and you were a jack, but in your future, you're going to be a king. And as you see here, don't forget, you were a jack. One of these days, you're going to be a king. And you're going to have you're gonna have the love of the number four. And you're going to do great things with the number nine. And lastly, you got... Number six, because in your past, you ran into problems. Six is the number for sin and disaster and mistakes and lust. Mm -hmm. And you're going to continue to run into those situations, but you got to continue to make the right decisions. If you want to be a king, you're going to have to go for the number nine and the number four and not for the number six. You were born in number six the number man as a jack but if you continue to work really hard nine days a week which is two days extra because there's only seven days in the week you can find the love number four to become a king someday thank you for your meeting
I could also read things from your, the lines here, like your Jin and successfulness, and your past, and, and Jai Ai, and all these different things and lines. And uh, thank you for for coming to see me. Uh, not a lot of people come to see me after 9/11. Everybody was like Jim Shaw, Jai Ai. You know, ever since 9/11, people just stopped believing in me. I'm like some kind of ghost or gremlin. I really don't know if people want to go and see me anymore. I'm your technician for the future. Thank you so much for coming by. Any other questions? Any problems? Any eating habits? Problems? Disorders? Okay. Thank you. Oh, you need more cards? Oh. The future cannot wait for you. The future has not been written yet. You know that. So, you want me to uh, reshuffle a little bit. Something. Okay. And uh, you want to know something else? What do you want to know? What is on your mind? You want to know about the future of Hello Kitty? When, when you um, help from help from future when I get married. Ah, Anna wants to know when she will get married. All right. We got five cards to talk about Anna's future. Okay. All right. Now we'll start with this one. The A stands for awesome. Also stands for ultimate, even though that starts with the letter U. Uh, a is an ace, is a high number, and it's actually a letter, but it means that you have control and you have freedom to do what you need to do because you are a businesswoman. And if you're not a businesswoman yet, someday you may become a businesswoman. Now, number nine, ultimate control because you're a hard worker and you're going to get the job done because you're a businesswoman. You have all the cards you need in the palm of your hands. You have the tools you need to get the work done. You have relationships, you have contacts, and you have tools, and you have family. So you shouldn't really worry too much about that. And number two, you have a love in your life. And you and him can stay together. Now you want to know, when are you going to get married with him? Seven years. And in seven years, you're going to have four kids. Thank you. Yeah, in seven years, you're going to marry oh, a, long time. a boy named seven years. Jason. Oh. You're going to marry, I predict, you're going to marry I'm sorry, named Nick. Jason. Oh, oh, maybe not. Sorry. Actually, get this wrong. It could be a little bit. Thank you so much for coming to my services. As a technician of the future, don't take it lightly.